Hey coach, we're going to take a look at some 1-3-1 uh, offensive sets. Sometimes this can throw us off a little bit when the team goes into it and we're not completely organized. So I want to give you some options here and see if there's something that you can work with with your team. First here, we have uh, the one bringing it down and we always want to start with the two guard front. Anytime there's an odd uh, set defense, so 1-3-1 one, one or 1-2-2, one, two, two, we'd start with the two guard front, make sure that we can get into what we need to right away. Uh, the first thing that here we're going to do here is the one is going to go ahead and we're going to get that ball over to the three. And what we're trying to do here is get the defense to shift. So once the defense or once the three gets the ball, we're going to go ahead, we're going to dribble down this way. And the key here is to try to get this man right here to come out and want to guard us. If we can do that, that's going to put them in a bind here with the rest of what we're trying to do. So We've got the three with the ball on the wing now. We're going to look at getting it into the corner. This is a place a lot of teams want to try to trap with the 1-3-1. One, the, the thing that we're setting up, though, is we're setting up some options to make a quick pass. So even if they try to trap, uh, we'll be able to make the pass and make the read pretty effectively. The first option is to go right down to the five. So if this back man is playing r5 okay so he's playing behind and the person who is guarding the three is going to run down and catch that then we've got an opportunity for a one-on-one -on -one. if they're going to try to trap it here and they're going to send both of them there well now we've got an opportunity to get a quick pass down to the block and at the very least we're going to have a backside player whoever the the player was up top here is responsible for getting down and covering that it's probably a wing so you've got your post on a wing here so that's some of the what we're looking for here with this overload on this side if we get it down to the five our four wants to immediately cut to the hoop we have a dump pass right there because this person has come over to cover the basket. He can't cover both of them. If he doesn't come out on five, we're right at the hoop. If he does come out to five, we've got the four slashing down. And the middle man in this one, three, one right here, his responsibility is not to go down all the time to the baseline. All right. So if he does, then we still could have the opportunity for a four flashing in there. If we don't get it to the five, so let's look at our two having the ball in the corner. We have our four up top, our five is here. So the five is not a great option, but the four is. The middleman has played behind the four, right there. So we're gonna get the ball right here. Now our four has several different options here. The four can throw it down to the five if they want, it could always be a kickback out to the two. Our one who passed the ball initially wants to make sure that they move over to the other side. The ball's in the corner here. This defender is going to drop. If we get it to the four and then a quick swing out to the one, that's a very good opportunity for a quick shot right there if we have a point guard who can shoot. Uh, the next thing that we want to take a look at is if we can't get it into the two, let's say. So we've got the same setup. It happens to be our three two, five, four. Our one has made his move over to the side already. If we can't get the ball into the two, we can go ahead and we can look at this high-low right here. Same principle still apply. If we get it down into the five, our four wants to flash there. If we're going to get it into the four, it's a great opportunity for our five to duck in and to try to get on one-on-one -on -one with that low post player. So it kind of depends on the personnel that you have uh, but if you can't get it down to the two or their trap is bothering you, use that as an overload because they're still going to have to know about this defender, but use one of the other two options instead. Now, if we can't get it in there, we're just not comfortable with what we're seeing here. The three has the ball on the side. Our one is still over in this direction. We can go ahead and we can skip past it over to our one. Our four and our five, all they're going to do is they're just going to cross right here. They're going to make it. So this back defender's got to make a decision. Am I going to come up and am I going to go down? What exactly do I want to do? Now, here's where a great play comes in. As that action is happening, this defender right here on the side that was had to choose to guard the three and the two is going to drop. 
as that ball gets sent over to the other side, that's that back defender's responsibility. The bottom guy is going to take this block right here. We still have our middle defender. And we kind of look something like this now. All right. Our three is in a great position to come down, set a screen. We're just going to pop up a little bit. We got a skip pass to our two. So that down screen is going to pin this defender, and he's not going to be able to get out here in time for the three point shot. So the play can be as simple as swing it to the three, take a couple of dribbles over to move that defense, give it back to the one. And then we're going to come down and we're going to set this uh, back screen here so that we or this down screen so that we can get the two for a three point shot. So those are some great options. It keeps your offense moving. It allows you to hit the gaps and do all the things you want to do in a zone defense against a zone defense. But you've got some great scoring uh, opportunities as well. So, coach, if you like this uh, one three one set, feel free to use it. If you want more, there's more inside. The membership coachmattdennis.com you can go into our coaching academy or coaching library and see what other coaches have to say as well as print off other resources they're going to help you attack a one three one or whatever defense you might see all right coach hope this helps you out thanks